Welcome to Launch with Code. The point of this class is to help you actually build a web application that allows you to launch whatever project that you are working on and get some early feedback from users or at least early interest from users. Now the topics that we're gonna be talking about are Django Basics, Django Project. Django is a web framework that is built in Python, the Python programming language. Um, it allows us to really handle all of the data for our website, definitely on the back end side, but it also works with the front end as well. As far as the design of the front end, we're going to be using what's called Bootstrap. It's Bootstrap Basics. We'll cover that. Uh, getbootstrap.com is the website for it. Uh, Bootstrap was designed by guys that used to work at Twitter, and now they're just running this Bootstrap. It's an awesome front end framework, and we're going to be using that. Again, those, those two things are going to be basics. Uh, it would help to know a little bit about Python, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. However, I'm going to show you step by step on how to actually implement it. So even if you don't fully understand those things, you'll still at least see the final product of what we'll be working towards, which I'll get to in a second. And then the point of this app is for email collection. So that as a topic is really what this whole thing is going to be circled around. I said app because it is a web application. We are building a web application where we're using software to actually handle a lot of this stuff. Uh, so email collection, and then we'll be doing basic social sharing with like a unique URL based off of that email that is collected. Um, so those two things, this is like the key part for us right here. This is what we're going to be working a lot in. And then we're also going to talk about IP addresses um, and blocking spam and all that. So um, IP addresses are unique for your device and just kind of what we're going to be doing is just kind of tracking those things so we don't we don't have a lot of spam coming through. All right, so by now you might be wondering why is it that we're doing this? Why are we bringing this class for launching with code? Well, there's a few reasons for it. Number one, of course, I want to help entrepreneurs and would-be entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs to actually get out there and make their projects happen. And by showing you step-by-step, step, that will help you actually do that because then you can get feedback in real time and then based off of the data or what that feedback is, you can take more action on that project or not. In some cases, it's, it's really good to just put a project on the shelf and come back to it later and try something new because once you're on something that's actually working, it's an amazing feeling. It's so much better than trying to force something to work. Once it's working organically, it's better than trying to force something to work. So those are part of the reasons that we're doing this. The other part is I'm actually proud to announce that we are bringing out a brand new class called Swift for Entrepreneurs. It's going to be a project-based programming class to teach you how to build native iPhone applications in Apple's new programming language called Swift. We're going to be focusing on the iPhone. Uh, we might venture into the iPad and OS X, but for now, we're going to be focusing on the iPhone. So if you've never heard of Swift for Entrepreneurs, go to swiftforentrepreneurs.com and you can actually sign up here so you can unlock it. You can be a part of the first people who will actually be able to take um, the Swift for Entrepreneurs course. And like all of our Coding for Entrepreneurs stuff, this will be step by step and we're going to take you through it and help you really understand how Swift works and then also how it's going to work with our web applications, which is a big component to what we are going to be doing in Swift for Entrepreneurs. Now, this class that we're doing right now, not Swift for Entrepreneurs, but launching with code, this class is about building this exact same thing. We're going to be doing pretty much the same as SwiftForEntrepreneurs.com. Now, if you're on Swift for Entrepreneurs and you're like, hey, it looks a lot different. We don't have this launch coming soon type of thing anymore. That's okay because we'll have a link to where you could see this live working example somewhere in the notes. So you can find the link. More than likely, it's going to be on launch.swiftforentrepreneurs.com once we uh, get to the point where it's actually live and it's no longer coming soon. So if you are on Swift for Entrepreneurs and it looks like this or you're on launch.swiftforentrepreneurs, we will go in and we'll do coding for entrepreneurs. So I'll enter my email. I'll hit join. And it's going to take me into this like little landing share page, if you will. And this is my unique share page for that email. So coding for entrepreneurs at Gmail. This is my unique URL for that email, and I can share it from all these different places. Um, you'll see us on Kickstarter soon. That is still in the works, so depending on when you're watching this video, we'll see if we even go to Kickstarter. I haven't seen the results of this campaign yet, so 
uh, it's impossible for me to say. Uh, but if we see this, if we scroll down, we see like f I have four different reward categories here. I have five friends join, ten join, so on and so forth. Uh, and then it will count everything automatically. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. So if we actually go to this specifically here, uh, it's not going to look a whole lot different except it changes the reference up here. And we are actually going to be using that reference for if somebody signs in their email here. All right, so that kind of covers why we're doing it. We're doing it so we can bring attention to Swift for Entrepreneurs, and we're also doing it so you, as a, the learner, the student, you are gonna be able to actually do the exact same thing that we've done here. Now, it's not really that complicated. I know a lot of it might look complicated or overwhelming at this point, but it's not. It's, it's, we're gonna take you step-by-step step to do every single thing that I've done on swiftforentrepreneurs.com so you can do it on yours as well. And the point of all this is to collect emails and do all those things that we've already discussed. Now, some of the things that we're gonna be talking about, of course, I have Django. DjangoProject.com, this is gonna be your like default place of where you'll go to actually um, like do reference for the documentation. Or if you don't understand something, you can go here and read about it. Uh, another place would be on GetBootstrap.com. So Bootstrap is gonna be that front end stuff. This is, this is the website you would go to to kind of understand a little bit more about the front end. Again, we're gonna be going step by step through these two things, but it's good to know that they're there. And then the text editor we're using is Sublime Text. I'm a big fan of Sublime Text. They have an awesome program. You can download it and just kind of run it for free. Uh, it, it is suggested that you buy a license, but you can use it for free. It's part of the reason I actually do recommend that you do it because you can use it for months, uh, beyond months, and it'll still work. It's not gonna be limited in any way, really, other than it'll give you some nag every once in a while to uh, get a license. And if you use it that much, you should just probably get a license. All right, so, um, and last thing I wanna note is this is actually inspired by a post from Tim Ferriss um, on the 4hourworkweek.com. He wrote about, uh, or actually I should say he had a guest post from the guys who launched harrys.com. They're a brand, they have a like a shaving company. And the way they launched is actually very, very similar to the way we're gonna launch. So reading this blog post is actually probably something that will be good for you to kind of check out if you plan on going this route. Um, but for us, this launch page or, or the way we're doing this pre-launch on Swift for Entrepreneurs is very much tied into this blog post because it's awesome how they launched. They got 100,000 emails in a week. Now, I can only hope to get that, but nevertheless, um, what they did in their learning process was great. They even open source the code, but it's all in Ruby on Rails. And um, I know that anyone who's learning from coding for entrepreneurs that wants to do this as well, well, you don't know Ruby on Rails, you know Python and Django. So that's another reason that we're doing it in Python and Django. So if you know Ruby on Rails and stuff like that, you could probably just jump and do this, um, use theirs, but we will have all of our code, code open source as well for launching with code. And of course, all of this is brought to you by Coding for Entrepreneurs. This is where we do all these web-based applications, web-based projects. We have a ton of stuff, a ton of content here. So if you are interested in learning more, this would be a place that you would go is codingforentrepreneurs.com. Um, it's a $25 a month membership. It's fairly straightforward, but you get a lot of content there. Uh, and it really helps uh, support us to do free things like this on YouTube. Um, as well as it is available for free. Anything that's free on YouTube is also available for free on Coding for Entrepreneurs, and it is ad-free there. And on a last note, if you liked launching with code, please like it, share the playlist with your friends, get other friends to do it too, because we need more coders. We need more perspectives, and we need more entrepreneurs. And I think that you guys are in a nice situation to be able to actually make those things happen especially if you respect the results of your launching campaigns, if you understand and learn from them so you can grow and get better, that's the point. But if you guys can like and share, that helps us grow and it helps us build better content. Um, and of course, being a member on Coding for Entrepreneurs also helps doing those things as well. So thanks so much. This is the welcome to Launching with Code. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I try to respond to as many, if not all, questions as possible as soon as possible um and yeah and my name is justin mitchell so thank you so much for listening and we'll see you when we actually get started which is in the next one